Ask Credit by Enchanted Lunas. What are the best jobs for those with social anxiety? Depends. Are you looking to work on that anxiety to the point that you're more comfortable around people, or do you want a job that works around not being around people? Not being around people. Good God I do not like being around people. Jobs where people are always happy to see you, like a locksmith. AAA roadside assistance. Actuary. Back when I was in a bank, the actuary guy was sequestered in his own lonely room with almost zero human interaction, because they don't want to risk anyone influencing him. The data he churns has to be as accurate and unbiased as possible and that means minimal interaction with the rest of the bank. It's also a very highly paid job and recession proof too. In the US, starting salaries average around $100,000. That's probably having passed just the first couple of exams. Full chartered FSAs easily make double that. Getting a job at the bachelor's degree level in some sort of lab-based science. Chemistry, biology, medical lab science. Working in a lab can be very solitary and isolating, but some people really want that. Warehouse or factory work. You will end up craving human connection and make friends out of some pretty weird people. I haven't worked in a factory but my mom has and I can agree confirm your statement about friends and weird people lol. Anything on the night shift. Yeah the amount of people getting active is so different. I need this, tell me your secrets. Us forest service. They're hiring. I ran into the guy who wrote, this book, https colon slash slash, www.amazon.com, slash fire dash season dash field dash wilderness dash lookout, slash dp, slash 00618593700 close bracket on a hike in New Mexico. He told me he left Nick after 9 stroke 11 and the USFS hired him with no experience. His job was basically going up into the tower once an hour and radioing in the conditions. You get food and supplies airlifted in and they still paid you, in money that was impossible to spend because there was nothing around to buy. It's a 6 month stint and in the winter he takes odd jobs in the nearest town, Silver City. Interesting meeting him, but I think I'd get bored in about a week. Actuary. But what are the odds? Working with animals because animals produce serotonin and reduce stress so like a an animal caregiver at a zoo so you're manly around animals. I absolutely love animals. Working in an animal sanctuary is my dream job. Trucking. Definitely a undertaker. Nobody living really wants to talk to the living embodiment of the Grim Reaper and your clientele are dead and don't require small talk. Not an answer to your question but I want to throw a quick sar in case it might help anyone. I was diagnosed with social anxiety a few years ago. This month I learned that social anxiety can be a symptom of childhood emotional neglect and CPTSD. I'd encourage anyone with social anxiety to look up an article on CPTSD and see if it applies to you. Yes, I have BPD and CPTSD as well, it is definitely difficult to deal with. Thank you. Maybe ghost writer. Marizo technical writer, curriculum developer, and textbook writer. Ghost writer. Depends on what you're writing you may have to work closely with a client or writing team. Fiction writer is a very solitary profession, but not likely to be lucrative and certainly not for the first few years, if ever. Janitor. From what I hear working as a cleaning service is pretty chill. You typically do the work when everyone else is gone and if there are people they usually won't bother you. It can also help your social anxiety by just being around people but not being forced to interact, or by interacting and coordinating appointments and gigs over phone text. It really depends what kind of cleaning and where but I find cleaning to be pretty cathartic and relaxing. Yeah my friend cleaned for years and loved it. They were a team of three but they were all lovely and soon became friends. This was rural though, 
they'd basically just drive to rich people's estates and clean their houses. The money isn't very good but she said it was relaxing and laid back as. I imagine it would be different if you worked for a contractor servicing apartment blocks or whatever but cleaning can be an amazing job. Working in a hotel is pretty good. You've got laundry and housekeeping where you almost never deal with any customers directly because they either barely see you or you're in the rooms after anyone has left. You also have night auditor where you only have to deal with people as they check out in the morning and most of the time they're in a hurry and not bitching about anything. I did housekeeping for a little bit and I actually liked it a lot but it was becoming too fast paced at the place I worked and they started making people work together and I hated it. I love housekeeping but not teamwork. My job. I'm a night janitor at a gas station and mini market. Place is closed, no customers, no other staff and out in the sticks. Place is closed an hour before I start and opens an hour before my shift ends. Get paid 11 pounds and 60 pence an hour too. That sounds nice, I'll definitely look for janitor positions around. I don't know what the best would be, but I know what doesn't work well, retail. Especially working on a checkout. I thought it would help me with my communication skills and social anxiety. Mega fucking wrong. It made things a lot worse. To the point where I now have stress induced speaking difficulties. It also massively exacerbated my misanthropy. Someday I'll get out of here. Someday. This job is killing me. I've worked retail 5 years. I just get on a script and zone out during conversations. Works pretty well. Nursing home jobs. Like the old people are nice for the most part. And you don't really need to talk to you co-workers if you don't want to. I actually applied to an in-home caregiver position today and I'm hoping to hear from them. Programming software engineering. Generally can't avoid code reviews though, or daily stand-ups if you're doing agile. Pet grooming. The only time you really talk is through message about the dog and what the owner wants and when the owner pays you. Letter carrier. I used to own and operate a grocery store and the never-ending social interactions with customers, staff, and vendors were killing me. Now I get paid to walk around neighborhoods where the most interaction I have is brief hellos and nobody is ever mad at the mailman. Except dogs 95% are very mad at the mailman. No one storms up to me demanding me to solve their problems or blames me for things outside of my control. Every route is different but mine is 20k 30k steps and 400 600 floors a day which keeps me healthy as well. Unionized. Pension benefits and where I am from you get to go home when you're finished your route. There is a bit of social interaction in the mornings at the depot, but the other carriers tend to stick to themselves at their own sortation pace because any wasted time is time you could be at home while earning the same amount. You won't get rich, but other than aches and pains and the odd injury, you will fall. You won't have any stress from work. Janitor. Overnight stocking. Early morning stocking. Helping to renovate stores, working at the post office, factory worker, cashier at corner stores gas stations, stuff like that. I also have social anxiety, so finding a job is really difficult. Everyone always says it's not that bad blah blah blah, but it is. I've worked at a yogurt factory on the line, packing up yogurt, and I've helped renovate a store. Like moving items from one shelf to another, putting up new shelves, cleaning shelves, etc. Anything that gives you minimum contact with other humans. That way you can slowly get used to it, instead of getting thrown into a hard job like cashier at Walmart, and crying a river whenever a customer is an ass to you. I would agree, I'm a cashier before but I stay at home now. But it's a good experience though. Librarian Librarian is a customer service position that works closely with the public. Clinical lab scientist. I'm a massage therapist with anxiety. I get to do my own thing and set my own schedule. I see a max of 4 people per work day, some who talk and some who don't. I think it's a rewarding career, 
but it's physically demanding so it may not be for everyone. Embalmer. The clients don't say much but they have no complaints. Truck driver. There is minimal human interaction. As for jobs that I, as a person with social anxiety have had. Working in a lab is nice. I worked in a lab making eyeglasses and it was great working on my own. Only having to talk to the retail staff. I got to play my tunes and got to be in my own bubble as I worked. If you want to learn how to get over social anxiety, I worked at an NHL hockey arena in guest services. The uniform was my armor so it made it easier for me to deal with the crowds. I still don't like crowds, but it helped me learn to cope with them. I basically got paid to watch hockey games and concerts. It was nice while it lasted. Forklift driving in construction. Not a bad job. May I recommend not working as a prison officer unless you really wanna have to force yourself to control your anxiety at all times. Lab technician in a manufacturing plant. I have a friend with serious social anxiety, and there are days when she only talks to two people in 12 hours, and that is by choice. It's repetitive and she has to run the tests very precisely, but it pays well and she enjoys the work. Animator. I had to choose between the film and animation department in college and I chose animation because it's just sitting at a desk talking to no one. It's solitary, but if you're a solitary artist type, it's heavenly. A job where you work with the same people every day will be easier than sales, waitressing, etc. where you are constantly dealing with new people. Waiter. I grew up with social anxiety. It's honestly fun to fake it for a bit and it's helped me fight and confront social anxiety. Wash toilets in Walmart lol. NGL if I did it at least it would be clean then. Honestly a dog caretaker or how else could I explain this someone who has to take care of a dog for a few hours. Dogs are furry friends and they make you 1000% more relaxed and stressed. I've wanted to do that for a while. A lot of that around here is word of mouth and I don't know anyone who needs dog sitting walking and I haven't seen any jobs posted for that online. Now I'm 17 and I don't know how old you are but I just got my job, making pizzas, a few weeks ago. I also have quite bad social anxiety bc I'm a certified autistic. It was scary to play and work there at first but if your co-workers are really nice you should be fine. It might take a little while to get comfy I'm still not 100% comfy either but my co-workers always joke around and talk while we're working and are very kind to me so I feel quite welcome and I have a lot of fun working there. I'm so glad I applied.